Yo, what up gamer girls? There's one for the out of context. Welcome back to Cave Colonization, episode 59. And in today's episode, I'm going to suffer as usual, and I can already tell it's probably gonna be a bit of a longer one. So without further ado, let's actually get down into the cave. We're almost done in this big cave area. We just have this big thing to do here, and then I completely forgot, but there is actually my game keeps freezing for some reason. There's actually like another over here, another thing. Here's the lake that we built last time. I did edit it and I added some shroom lights and stuff. And I edited this a little bit and uh, I freed that water. I don't actually know if I did that in an episode. But anyway, today we're gonna be building this here and it's gonna be a little bit awkward with this path. So I might end up moving this, like this path one block farther that way. So this is going to take me a hot minute. And the reason I say that is because it is probably like, it's one of the biggest builds I've ever done. I keep saying that like every episode oh this is a big build also the game keeps freezing that's kind of really annoying i'm gonna focus on this side first i was already saying something i already forgot i think it was just uh, i kept how uh, i kept saying oh this is gonna be a big build but this is actually going to be a big build all right you know what i'm gonna plug my computer and maybe that'll reduce the freezing a little bit yeah this is actually okay as soon as i started talking again the game froze so that clearly did nothing but this is actually going to be for the third time one of the bigger builds that i've ever done and it is going to be really fun because of that Wow, I had a perfect amount of deep slate. I am just gonna get more from mining this out anyway. Here's the point. I go into like awkward silence because oh, what the heck? I just moved you into my E slot. Why are you not in the E? This is the point where I don't have anything to talk about, but actually this time I kind of do. So while I flap about here, we'll discuss some things. I'm gonna put these bookshelves in, even though it's technically interior detail, but I do need them how did you get placed there uh, apparently i have five yeah it keeps freezing i have no idea why that is really really annoying actually there actually are some things that i do want to talk about but the pale garden so that's a topic we could discuss but first i think um is that a bat yeah they updated bats recently apparently i didn't know that first before i talk about the pale garden and stuff i'm going to talk about school because everyone loves talking about school man it has been probably the toughest semester so far please stop freezing game that is really annoying i keep having like these really stressful weekends where there's like a lot of projects due all at once and these are not small projects they're all like multi-day projects it's really annoying so school is always really fun so we need some stairs around the edges because this is another one of those bills that like the corners pull out a little bit so it, it's a little bit larger than its footprint the staircase is really awkward right there yeah having a lot of assignments like that is really kind of annoying i have like barely played games and now i'm having a hard time gripping the mouse which is incredible i don't really know it's just not not a good thing yeah it was happening yesterday and today as well a little bit more when i was playing classic because i still play classic gotta hit that god like before the end of the year i don't actually but i, I want to so that's, that's really good, by which I mean it's really bad, the hand thing not hitting godlike, although that is probably also bad, because who in their right mind plays classic duels? Apparently me, the game freezes are really helpful, you know, we were working fine earlier today, must be because I'm recording, so... Bruh, that was definitely something that has happened to me. So that's brilliant. I was having a hard time like aiming the mouse. My thumb muscles would just like be seizing up a little bit. So that's great. I don't know why it's happened. Like, I don't think it's carpal tunnel because I haven't really been clicking that much. But yeah, so in summary, school sucks, but we already knew that already. And now I can't play Minecraft because I can't move the mouse. I'm not doing it right now, thankfully. My screenshots are like a mess. But they always are, so we should be fine. This is going a lot slower than I hoped. Like, this is a pretty simple building. I thought it would be pretty easy to build. All right, let's put the floor in so I'm not constantly falling down. So there is the pale garden, but I kind of talk about that a little bit later. While well, I'm putting down interior blocks, so it's not like how I usually build interiors. All right, so this is gonna be like a roof time. It's gonna be quite the roof to put together, but I am being called by a suspected spam. Decline, please. Okay, that's not what I was gonna say. But what I was gonna say is I got tired of crap. Crafting. Oh, it's kind of dark here. Hang on. Yeah. I got tired of crafting stairs. So now I want to show off my amazing roof building kit. And I don't think I'm going to need to be crafting stairs for the next three episodes. So I may have gone a little bit overboard. We've got some fences, we've got slabs, we've got trapdoors, and a lot of stairs. So this should speed up the roof building process a little bit. Yeah, so I'm going to build the. Oh my goodness. What on earth? I've never seen this happen before. Yeah, okay, hi. Ow. 
die. Yeah, I'm gonna build the roof real quick and I'll see you when it's done. All right, the roof on this side is done with about 15 asterisks. It's definitely not done, but it's done enough for my purposes. So I'm going to put in the floor to the next level now. Did I bring birch slabs? I don't actually think I did. Oh my gosh, I did. Yay me, I guess, for being smart. I don't think I was saying anything really important before I started building the roof. I will say, however, though, that my screenshots are an absolute mess. So there is another level to this beautiful building. So we have a little support here, and then we have another one looks like right here on the side of the window. So then four more slabs here, and one of these... Okay, not quite there. I almost managed to place it correctly. Do I really want to be doing interior for this now? I might as well. So I think I actually want to start at the bottom. I'm going to start out with the door, as usual. I already put those bookshelves in, so then right here, we are going to have two windows right here. Let me see my dog out there. Hello. I think that's still Doc Benson. I have a little stair here, scaffold for a table, and now I'm going to start narrating every block that I place down, even though you can definitely look with your eyes and see that I just placed down that block. So do I really need to be doing that? Probably not, but uh, am I going to do it? Probably. All right, anyway, what was I going to talk about? The Pale Garden, or Pale Forest, I guess, as a lot of people think it should be called. So this video is going to age pretty well because in like, I don't, I don't know how long, but the Pale Garden will be old news. While it's still relevant, I guess I should express some of my thoughts about it. And I think W Biome so far. A lot of people were saying like, there's not really a reason to visit it beyond just like collect saplings. And I would argue there's not really a reason to visit a lot of biome biomes in Minecraft besides just Adventure Time. I'm having really terrible luck with this. Remember like when I was building Arrow's house and I rolled the right painting like three times in a row? There we go. That took literally forever. And like once you get the saplings, do you really need to bother staying there? I mean, no, not really. When they first revealed it, I was like, I really thought that they should add a new flower to go in it. And I'm really glad they did. And I think that makes it feel more gardeny. I think a lot of people feel like that as well. But I was never really too fussed about the name. I was not expecting the resin blocks to be perfectly honest. And when I said that, I just was thinking about last episode when I said, you know, who's, when you say something like that, it implies that you're not honest all the time. Well, anyway, we're just gonna move past that. Yeah, I, I was really hoping they would add a new flower, and they did. And it even has two states, which I also think is really cool. More dark oak stairs required over here. I think they did a pretty good job. Like, how you get resin is a little bit odd, and the creaking, I guess, the creaking is definitely a mob, in my opinion. I don't really have too much to say about it. It is an interesting mob. I do appreciate that they're making more interesting mobs, like with the warden and creaking, like they kind of have these gimmicks. That's cool, I guess. Not so much in the warden's case, the warden is really annoying, but I mean, you have to like seek out the warden to be bothered by it. And personally, in my survival world, I probably never will because I am really bad at the game and really bad at fighting wardens. So I would definitely spawn one. I think that should be dark oak. And I don't really want to deal with that, quite honestly. So no deep dark for me. Also, my world is quite old, and I would have to go quite a far away distance, which sucks because I do want to. I do want to find the new stuff. Not exactly deep dark, but definitely the pale garden could be interesting. I like the biome. As for a lot of people are like upset about the fact that it doesn't have a unique tree. Honestly, I'm fine with that. Having farmed mangrove trees, and yeah, unique trees are really annoying. Like in this world, I have cut down a mangrove tree with literally one log. Is that effective? No. So farming unique tree types is really annoying depending on I guess depending on the tree type but cherry trees are also not really that not annoying how do you place trap doors brother what am I doing that's the wrong way okay there we go nice I just have shoulder boxes lying around well I think there's a lantern that goes right there I'm not really too sure what's going on with the roof so we chop out there's a window there and then I think two windows right here and oh it's it's just a triple window yeah once again I'm not too sure what I was saying I really wish there was more like armor types like trims are cool as well I'm glad they're adding that and the resin. I think they're they're doing a good job to, with the pale garden, in my professional opinion, which is not professional. And I'm sure a lot of people are like really angry about something they're doing. It's a free update to a game that I play. And in my opinion, that's pretty cool. I was talking about the tree type, wasn't I? I'm fine with it being just normal dark oak trees. And as far as like, if it was just the creaking just moved into the dark oak forest and kind of like corrupted the trees, you know, I think having the trees be the same as dark oak makes sense. I don't know if it's meant to be its own biome or a sub biome of dark 
dark oak forest. And if it's a sub biome, then I think it's fine. But if it's meant to be its own kind of forest biome, yeah, it could do with some unique trees, just as long as they're not really annoying to farm. Okay, that was about a lot of talking, and I don't think I actually said that much, to be perfectly honest. And now I have to scroll through my screenshots to find the right one. Yeah, you know what? I actually don't care too much about the particulars of this, so we'll just do that. And yay, yeah, done. Returning back to cave colonization for the time being, we're going to put in a nice big window like this. Pick up my shulker box so it doesn't despawn, because that would be a little bit unfortunate. And then, actually, I think first, before I do that, I'm going to put down these two in line like this. Then we have a couple of Charizard shelves here. No, I'm not going to change the name from that. There we go. We have a note block and some magenta candles, which are unlit. It's always weird to me how you crouch place the first candle, but then if you just right-click the rest of the candles onto the other candle that you already placed, you don't need to be shifting. And if there's already a candle, then you can't, like, place it on the block. You have to place it on the candle. So that's something you may not have known, but that's also really useless information. So then we add another Charizard shelf like this. Here I go saying like this again. And it's about time. We, we can have a couple of like this is per episode, you know? Nobody's gonna be too bothered about it, I think. Okay. Booyah. That was a weird way of saying booyah. Because I was kind of unsure. Do I really want to say booyah? I guess I do. Um, that looks a little bit like how it goes, I guess. <laughs> that is that is what it is. Okay, so then I finally have an excuse to use some chains, which is cool. Because I wanted to use chains for a while and I haven't actually ever found like a good use for them. I think that's it for the interior, honestly. Let me just see. We have a lot of doors, which you can't really place, to be honest. I guess we could do that and then that. Did that place right? Yes, it did. Cool beans. And then two more doors up here. Woot. All right, so let's do some exterior work on this building because I think that's just going to be easier for me going forward. This is going to be really confusing and difficult to build for my puny... Uh, those are fence gates. My puny little brain. I guess Arrow is going to be happy that I'm using fence gates. Right, that was a very disjointed opinion, but I'm sure it's fine, and I can edit it together to make it sound like I actually have a brain, at least a little bit. But it looks like I underpacked glass. Yeah, I kind of knew that I would, and it might have been wise to, you know, address that and bring some extra glass, so in case I did underpack, I would have more glass. But there's also a chance that I just didn't place a window in the right spot. That's the wrong pickaxe, and I'm getting annoying blocks in my inventory. Get out of here. The reason I put them back and then mine them again it was so I could mine them into cobble. I'm not incredibly stupid. Yeah, we love exterior decoration, by which I mean, I hate exterior decoration. It's quite boring, honestly. And now we're at the point where I've already gone through all my discussion question topics and we've already we've already discussed them and now I don't have anything to talk about. I can talk about the fact that this is like really close. It's one block closer than I thought it was going to be. That's a little bit unfortunate. So I'm definitely going to move that path one block farther like in away from this. Just so there's a little bit more breathing room here. I think that would be smart. I do have to do that because right here, the roof is just kind of here. So yeah, this staircase might also have to move this way and then the entire path moves in one block that way, which I think it should be okay. Honestly, I should have done this a lot earlier, like pre-crafted a bunch of stairs and slabs and stuff. Although admittedly, it was quite intensive on my dark oak supply in the fact that it used like nine stacks of dark oak, which I have. Well, I had, but I think it's worth it for the because it's gonna be really handy to have for the next two episodes before it runs out because that is how long it's going to last i'm sure and we put in our last fence gates Booyah. Okay, why do I keep saying booyah? Why is that a thing I say now? What the heck? All right, so now we have to go to the next lore, by which I mean I have to scroll through dozens of screenshots that I took to find the right one, only to scroll to the end and find that I now have to go the other way. Awesome. Well, you know what? It's fine. We have more of this... They're supposed to be kind of protected because I added water, but I guess he missed and paid for it with his life. Okay, these are all stairs, which means I need to get more stairs. Like, I've already used, I don't know, two, three stacks of stairs already? That is insane. So, like, when I said that this would last, like, two, three episodes, I was joking, but was I? Okay, that's the front. Right, so one here, one here one here. I guess something I could say is that I really like this build. It was fun to build in the creative world. Not so much now because I'm recording, right? And that takes up like memory. But this was definitely an interesting build to consider and I do think that is going to turn out quite well. I also think that this video is going to be very long. Well, the raw footage is going to be very long. The video may not be. It really depends on how well I edit it or how much of what I'm currently saying. Looks like I miscounted on fences, but thank 
thankfully, I just have two whole extra stacks. What was I saying? Dude, I swear, I don't have amnesia or like dementia, but maybe I do. Oh, right, the video duration. This is gonna be a fun one to edit for me, so I probably shouldn't do it all in one day. I'm gonna leave that for now. So I think that's that side done. All right, so now we're on to building number two. It should be easier in my opinion. So we can put down our deep slate tiles. Boom, yes, all of them. I heard a zombie. Whatever. I actually don't care. He can just do zombie things. It's funny. I was saying last episode how my commentary is... Actually, I didn't actually say it was getting better. I said it remained the same after 60 episodes. Although, technically we still haven't hit 60 episodes. Some idiot did something wrong right here. Definitely wasn't me. I would I would never misplace anything. Yeah, my commentary has remained awful for these episodes. The duration of this series. I think definitely one thing that has happened is my editing has improved. And honestly, remember I don't, I don't know which episode i think it was 44 maybe it was the rich guy's house i said that i needed to stop saying uh a lot like i would say it a lot and i needed to start saying it less and honestly it wasn't even that hard to do like i barely say it now when i am going to say it i usually just kind of like stop talking to let myself think so the amount of us i've had to cut out has actually been it's actually been very low which i'm honestly quite proud of that is definitely not something i expected from myself to actually improve at something i wanted to improve at usually that doesn't quite happen it's usually i try and i pour lots of time into it and i still end up sucking Case in point, I still suck at piano, and I still suck at classic duels, despite having played both of those for a long time. I'm gonna talk a little bit more about what this is. So this is just like a house, right? This is also kind of a house, but these people did something probably illegal if they didn't have a license, and that is turn the bottom of their house, bottom floor, into like a kind of bar area. But you know what? Nowhere in the cave colonization world is it written that you need to have a license to sell alcohol. I probably shouldn't be like saying things things like that on my YouTube channel. That is public on, and these videos are public and anyone can watch them. I, I mean, I don't drink alcohol, I guess. So don't drink alcohol. There you go. Kids, you have been warned. That was a massive recovery. There is, what the heck? And that batch is caught on fire. What is Minecraft? What is Minecraft? <sighs> Whatever, man, whatever. They may have updated bats, their texture, but they definitely did not upgrade their brain. They remain super stupid. We love stupid Minecraft mobs. But speaking of stupid Minecraft mobs, y'all see the Minecraft movie trailer? Nah, I'm, just I'm not gonna talk about that. My opinions will get me crucified because I think it's gonna be an amazing movie and I can't wait to see it. And I actually don't know if that's sarcasm or me telling the truth. I mean, I definitely want to see it because it's got that incredulity factor. It's like, you know what's gonna be bad or like you think it's gonna be bad but you want to see just how bad right and i took some really ass screenshots of this oh hold up never mind i didn't i'm such a clever boy i should give myself a pat on the back maybe i will after this video ends because can't stop won't stop right now i am on the camera i think i hope anyway oh i see wait this is one block too low i think cool beans so we go across like this i should probably focus a little bit more on building because i've kind of just been flapping about a little bit and that is not helpful for saving disk space there we go i think this should also be a stair but i didn't bring one this would be a moment for the carpentry table where you can craft any wood block out of one block. Basically it's stone gutter but for wood. I don't think they're gonna add that. I also don't really think it needs to be a thing. What I would like from like future updates, I think they've said they aren't gonna do this but it would be like nice to have more kind of like interior oriented updates and it's just random blocks you can place like the amethyst clusters. Those are really good interior decoration. Candles are good. Pots as well. Like the decorated pots. I really like those. And actually that's another talking point. Cave colonization is 1.19 and with all the updates coming out, you kind of have to wonder, why the heck hasn't that idiot updated? And there is a reason, I'm not going to come out and say that it's a good reason, but there is a reason that I haven't updated cave colonization, and probably will not. I think I said at like the beginning of, not sure which floor, yeah, I, there, there is a reason, it's not a good reason, but it's like, kind of because, basically, this series 
is old and it was started actually in 1.18 so it did get a little bit of updating in the beginning and I did want to use some of the blocks but the reason I'm not going to update it I think for now I actually may update it on the fourth floor for a reason I guess I'll discuss in a moment but it's kind of unfair to those builds built in the ancient of days they're really old and they didn't have a chance to use all these new cool blocks so it's kind of like I don't want to introduce like all the new blocks because I could have used those way back when but update consistency I guess I'm definitely going to cut the roof building out so this one should be easier and I will see you once I have finished it so be right back and once again the roof is far enough along that I think it's okay to unpause the recording and I only brought six glass panes that is is that enough I don't think so I don't actually know if there's a window there let's continue on with our build I'll worry about the upstairs a little bit later so just to continue on what I said, I was saying that I haven't updated cave colonization and it was kind of a not good reason. However, to amend that statement, I'm maybe considering updating cave colonization to the newest version. First of all, after I get some more netherite so I can get all my tools netherite because it's kind of annoying to get netherite upgrades. But for the fourth floor, I might update cave colonization because there's so many more blocks I can build like a bigger variety of shops and stuff. Because as you know now, like we're kind of like doubling up on things like especially with respect to things like smiths and bars and i'm not saying like there's not usually multiple bars and places i have to sneeze yeah for a chance for there to be more variety because we have kind of used most of everything already there are a couple blocks like the beacon that i haven't used that i am going to use the store's in the wrong spot i just need to get another star and i haven't gotten any wither skeleton skulls like mob heads like, those would be cool to decoration have but i haven't like actually tried to get a trident I tried geometry dash reference we love those so i can't really get mob heads but wither skeleton skulls are not exactly difficult to get well they're probably the easiest skull yet since you don't have a trident they're the only skull you can get actually that was a little bit of good talking i just did there yeah this is the definitely legal bar area that they've set up down here that torch can go away so yeah updating cave colonization to newest version for fourth floor it's an idea that that I may actually do simply because I don't want to just build the same things over and over and over again. Like, where's the fun in that? And I don't know how many more utility blocks. I mean, there's the auto smelter. I guess I could build a shop oriented around that. But the point is, there is more opportunities for stuff to build. Where the hell is my dark oak wood? I was all in here. Why would I even ask that, right? I literally made this so I would never have to ask that question ever. I have too many stroker boxes now. I am kind of getting a little bit confused. And that's not good. I've kind of got this triple use furnace up in here, or chimney, I guess. Build ideas have kind of run dry. I mean, not really. I do have like quite a few buildings planned. Where's my block of raw gold? That took me forever to get. Here it is. No, not there, there. I'm not exactly lacking ideas at the moment, but having more interior decoration and being able to build more interesting interiors, I think would just overall be da 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 more interesting. I'm just constantly going through them. I don't need to check these two. I'm just gonna pick them up. I can't pick them up, brother. Oh my goodness. What is even happening right now? This video went off the rails. I'm just gonna check these two, all right? That's all I need to check just orange. All right, I didn't bring any birch slabs for this one. I knew I brought some birch slabs for one of them. I just didn't know which. So let's build the third floor for this. So there's at least not a window right here because that's where the ladder goes. And now I'm going to go back to talking boringly saying like here and like this. And I guess the ladder doesn't actually go there because I cannot climb it. <laughs> climb it. Is that a weather reference? I don't don't know why I said that. <laughs> that was really dumb. Yes, let's let's get back on track. Uh, geometry dash reference. No, but for real, let's let's actually get back on track here, cause this is this is already going to be a lot of editing that I have to do. Because I haven't really fallen out of track. I have been placing blocks while talking about it. It just kind of feels like I've been going kind of slow because I've been kind of saying the same thing over and over and over again in circles. And I love talking in circles. Oh my gosh, circles. Geometry dash reference. I think that's this floor done onto the last floor and i believe there's a door right here yep it looks like it so we're almost done i think and i'm just gonna put a torch there and then just block that up because i don't want spiders spawning in the attic i guess that's what you could call this and we continue fumbling around in shulker boxes a 
attempting to find the right thing and being continuously unable to. Okay, so this, okay, that does go there and now I have to go fix that. Or does it go there? It doesn't look like it. I think actually it's meant to go like this. That would be a little bit cleaner, wouldn't it? Yeah. It looks like it's just kind of like this, but this block doesn't go there. Neither does this block. Pick these up and that is what it looks like. All right, now we can continue moving, finally, and we can put down some stuff. So this is the living quarters for the bar building. In case that wasn't obvious, I feel like it kind of was, but you know, in case you needed me to say the obvious, I have now said the obvious and you can be happy now, I guess. One choker box is now empty. So now I don't have to be flapping around as much. I guess one good thing that has come from me kind of talking aimlessly in circles is that I haven't been saying like this and like that too much. So that's good. My commentary has been improving very slightly in that regard I suppose. And then last thing not really the last thing we have four yellow candles which don't look like they're lit and an oxide daisy and there's still a flower pot oh I know where that goes that is a cup on the bar down here and we can just slap it there all right that is this building done yeah over here doesn't look like it's quite done I'm thinking for this one I'm just going to do the exterior decoration exactly the same as on the other building for the most part and and I don't think anyone's really concerned. I'm pretty sure I brought cobblestone stairs for that. I don't think anyone's going to be too concerned about me not showing the exterior decoration. So I'm just going to do that really quickly. And then I'll get back to you when it's time to connect the two and actually do something interesting. All right, the exterior decoration is done. And I realized that I did forget to place this painting. Also, I did forget to place the chimney. The painting just goes up here. I think it's that. Okay, so we got pretty good luck this time. And we have some doors left. One goes right here. Now, we have to do some interesting stuff stuff because these buildings are connected and now I have to figure out how. Rather than just look at the screenshots, I'm just going to build something that makes sense because I really am not too interested in following exactly, although it looks like I am doing it basically exactly the same. Oh, they think... Oh my gosh, no, bro. All right, anyway, the phone is ringing now, so that's awesome. I'm not gonna answer it. All right, the phone stopped ringing now. Hopefully they don't immediately call again because I don't think anyone at home is going to answer. So there's kind of this middle joining section that middly joins the two buildings. All right, so first off, we have just in time for Halloween, kind of an ugly pattern of carpet, orange and brown, but whatever. Did I seriously miscount the amount of carpets? Oh, wait, it doesn't. Okay, so this is kind of weird. It doesn't go here. I'm just gonna do that. It doesn't go as far that way as it does this way. So two fences, four fences, interestingly enough, and then a little outdoor bench thing, a bookshelf. I'm doing it again. I'm doing the, the narration of what I'm placing down as if you guys couldn't see what I'm placing down. But by the way, in case you didn't know, this is an orange tulip and it goes in here. And er, I placed that entire thing in the wrong spot. So in case you didn't know, I'm gonna get my soul touch pickaxe and mine the bookshelf. So er, in case you didn't know, I'm gonna stop doing this now. So it just move that one over because we of course need room for a corner bush because I'm not going to give you a because of reason you know the reason this is cave colonization baby we love corner bushes here now more trap doors go right here more like this boom all right and I think there's just that goes right there yeah it looks like a fence goes here and I guess here as well all right so that's the first bridge that connects these so then we have another one of these with more exterior decoration for this building what I really like about this building is that it's just so easy to get anywhere like i don't have to stack up there's this convenient stairs and doors everywhere it is super nice there's a fence that goes there it's kind of random but it does go there so okay and then that goes away and we have that and then this it kind of is framed and then over on this side there's okay this is the front so on the front there's this and then only on this side it's like that okay and then there's a lantern that sits right there and then i do need to like put these in so the stairs that form the bridge and then another couple slabs. I'm not sure that's exactly how it goes, but that's how I'm building it this time. Then stairs like this. And there's not really anything up here. Actually, one thing I should do is put in this chimney that goes up here. I love these chimneys so much, man. They're so cool. And they're so simple as well. I wish I could come up with cool building techniques, but I'm stupid. So that won't ever happen. I mean, I did come up with scaffold table, I guess, but I'm sure someone's already done that before. And I'm pretty sure that's these two builds dots. Like I am missing one dark oak fence, but thank Thankfully, I can just do that. I think Roof Building Kit and I are gonna have a really nice relationship, honestly. Thank you, Roof Building Kit. All right, I do have like two lanterns and a bunch of stuff kind of left over, but I honestly can't be bothered to figure out where it all goes. So 
this is what we have constructed and i think it's pretty cool so like i said this path does need to be moved and that oh wait i remember where there's two lanterns goes one goes here and the other one goes over here so i think with that i'm gonna say thank you very much for watching this is going to be a really fun video to edit and i will see you in the next episode goodbye